Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will talk about how to best prepare for the upcoming season. Again, if you find value out of videos like this, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. So starting with Beyond Light, there have been some small changes to how to best prepare for seasons, and we'll talk through that. A lot of it stayed the same, but there are some things that are different. To begin with, as normal, there are 63 bounty slots on each of your three characters. So again, remember, if you have three characters, you can do this on each of them. First thing you're wanting to want to do towards the end of the season is just clear out any old quest or items that are taking up space that'll limit how much you can hoard. And again, you can do this on three, all three characters. The items that give you the most XP are going to be your weekly bounties. And here's where you're going to get those primarily. They're going to be with Gambit, Crucible, Vanguard or Strikes, Banshee, Varix, Cosmodrome, a lot of people forget about that, and then still with the Moon and Lectern, you still get that extra XP again. I know those are things you don't typically grind as much because they don't get powerful rewards and things like that, but from an XP perspective, they still get a large amount of XP. One thing to keep in mind is that the bounties do rotate every week. So typically to get all of the bounties for the different vendors, you're probably going to do that over three to four weeks. That will allow you to get all of them and to maximize your your what you can take into the next season. Again, just depends on how much you want to rank up as quickly as possible. But if you have the time, go ahead and do that. Once you complete those bounties, you're going to want to do whatever dailies are available. You could really micromanage this and figure out which ones do more. But for the most part, most of the bounties do around the same on most activities, at least most of the recent activities that most people play these days. One thing to be careful about is as you get into the next season, and I'll talk about this in a future video, when you're actually trying to turn those bounties in and you're trying to maximize your powerfuls, you're going to want to make sure you do have, or at least you turn in, only seven bounties for specific areas, or you will impact your ability to do powerful rewards in the next season. Those areas are the Vanguard, Crucible, Gambit, Banshee, and Varix. So for those areas, make sure you're only turning in seven bounties in the next season. The other thing that typically happens between seasons is when you start a new season out, there's a lot of things you have to buy, potentially other upgrade materials or things like that, and you'll need a lot of glimmer. So one of the things I like to do towards the end of the season, because there's not as much going on, is I like to hoard glimmer. And one of the best ways to do that is to go in and buy ships, like for instance, Zavala's Authority. That specific ship even though it costs a little bit more, it's like 7,500 to buy and then 5,000 Glimmer on the other end. The good thing about it is it's a pretty decent exchange rate. And then the next season, when you maybe don't have as much Glimmer, you'll be able to turn those in and get Glimmer really quickly. One of the other reasons to do that is in the new season, when you're running new activities, you're gonna get a ton of Glimmer. So if you come into the season with a ton of Glimmer, and then you also get Glimmer from activities, you're kind of wasting some of it. So that's one of the reasons I do this. It's not mandatory, but it's something that I like to do prepping for the new season. Another thing you could do to support this is, again, towards the end of the season, I know sometimes you'll break down shaders, just keep them because they're almost like a bank for Glimmer. And that way, if it gets stuck, if you're trying to buy bounties, you need that little bit of extra, they come in handy for that. And obviously, prior to doing some of that, because this also costs a lot of Glimmer, I would buy as many upgrade modules as you can. I think you can max out a 25. If you can get that, that's great. If you can't, don't worry about it. You will get some on the seasonal rank for the next season, but I would buy as many of them as possible because you will be at some point upgrading your your armor that you brought in that you really like and trying to maximize it. So you're really gonna need to have some upgrade modules to do that. In addition, you'll wanna go to Spider and trade in materials because one of the things about upgrade modules is they do require not only Glimmer, they also require materials. So you wanna make sure that you are, are not necessarily maxed on everything, but make sure you have a good spread of materials. And if you have a lot of shards already, that's an easy way to do that. In an upcoming video, I will go over the power grind in a little bit more detail for next season. But this is basically what I do to prep. And again, it really depends on how much you want to do. You can do as little as you can or as much as you can. But again, it just depends on how quickly. Not only do you want to get your seasonal rank up, right? Because with your seasonal rank going up higher, you'll actually get to some of the other armor that you can use to boost up your power as quickly as possible. And you'll also get other things like XP increases and things like that. And again, we'll talk about that in the next video because then we'll talk about once you do this prep, how to best use it in the upcoming season. And that'll allow you to get your seasonal rank up and to get to hard cap as quickly as possible so you can start getting those pinnacles done. So again, that's the video, guys. If you like the video, 
I really appreciate like or subscribe. Feel free to get into the community and let's talk about what you want to see next. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.